Walker. I was born on Sapelo Island, um, which the island is about 12 miles long, four and a half miles wide. And the people that live on Sapelo are Gitche Gullum. They originated from Sierra Leone. And they brought the tradition of net making with them. And the way they make the net is still the same way that they make it in Sierra And it's still the same way that they're making the Sierra Leone. And there's so many parts of the net. The first thing I'm going to do is start with the foot line. Uh, the old people call it the foot line because it's the bottom of the net. And these little weights, they call them bullets because back then the lead was made, bullets was made from lead. And what you do on the strings on the inside, it's called draw strings. And then you have the top of the net, which is this part. It's called a horn because they used to make it out of cow horns. And this is the swivel. It's your hand line. You tie it around your wrist. And you loop it like you're a cowboy. In your hand, and you gather the net up into your mouth. And you do it like a golf swing. You go back, and you go ahead, and you let it all go. And you let it settle to the bottom. And what they, you do what they call tucking. You're taking, you give a couple jerks, and that would take the drawstrings, would close the bottom in, trapping your fish. And they had different sized nets, like this is a, a mullet net. Then they had one with a smaller match, about three eighths, they called a pole man. Because a or if a slave was to go in fishing, they was guaranteed to bring something home. They could feed their family. And the things that we need to make a net is thread. Uh, they got different sizes from six, eight, and nine. Most people like to use size nine. And you need a, a shuttle, especially for cast nets. And then you have what we call a gauge. Gauge determine the size of your match that you want on your net. And you need that, the thread, and the knowledge on knitting. Which I will give y'all a, a little demonstration on that. Um, they used at uh, one time they used to use cotton, cotton, and they used to use real cow horns to put in the head of the nets and to make the swivel with. But then the PVC came out; it was a lot easier to get the PVC, and the nylon came out and it was a lot stronger, and it can last longer than cotton. Because with a cotton net, you have to keep it washed out every time you use it, keep it out the sun. With the nylon, you can just bring it and and just put it on up and wait for the next day to go fishing. So that's, but the only difference in the materials now. The row I'm working on now is called a running row. The reason they call it a running row because you, you don't have a special little loop that we usually put in to make the net sprayed open. So you can net fast on it. And the, As your gauge get full, you just slide it on down. And you go through. When you catch your match, you go through the back, come down, and you go around your wrist like this. And you go behind, go forward, pull it through, and down. These little looks when you finish. And in 
different parts of the net when you first start one. This is called the eyes. It's 32 of them. And once you get your eyes started, you start knitting down. You come down about maybe six inches. And then you'll start putting in what we call widening rolls. The widening rolls is a special little loop. And when you put your widening rolls in, you have 12 rolls. And in each row, when you finish, it'll be 32. You get to the bottom of your neck. The same amount of eyes. Okay, now, um, on this net here, if I was to sit down and knit on it every day, within about a week time, I could have somebody in the water fishing. And, but with me, I like to talk a lot, so it'll take me about two weeks. <laughs> and there's another net we use called a seine net. This is a handmade seine net right here. And the seine net usually go from, a, it's usually 100 feet long to 200. And you have a pole tied on each end, and you have about three men. And the deep end, you got a lead rope, and that's the lead man, he's a depth finder. And you stretch the net straight on out on the beach, and you stretch, once you stretch it out, we make it with a bag, that's a loop. We start looping, and we drag down about 10 feet, then we bring it back in, and that's how we gather the fish in the same net. And we mostly do that in the summer, when the water's still warm. Uh, in the wintertime, we mostly use cast nets because the fish are moving slow because the water's cold. And this, and the same net is for summer. You go high or low tide? Uh, you want to catch the tide going out or coming in. And if you use a cast net and you go out, it's, about, it's the same thing. You want to catch the outgoing tide or incoming tide. Because the water's too high, the fish can run all around you. So it's like, it's like tricking them. And what type of fish do you usually catch? Um, we catch mullet, trout, bass, um, whiting, catfish, sharks. Anything that's out there, we usually bring in.